Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of my viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So here we have a brand new game that was suggested by a viewer. Um, I believe uh, it was on one of my video. I just changed the theme around a little bit instead of Santa vs. Grinch. It's the Grinch vs. Santa. So I hope you like this new PowerPoint game. And if you do, don't forget to like share and comment it will really help out this channel a lot and if you want more awesome powerpoint games and materials don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when i drop them on my channel you can grab this free powerpoint game in the description box below this video also don't forget to install the fonts that's used in this PowerPoint game so that your game can look like the demo video. Let's start the game by hitting the play button. <laughs> All right, so here is the how to play and how to edit slide. On the left, we have Grinch versus Santa, how to play, and we'll go through this later and I'll explain to you how this game is played. And on the right, we have the edit your game. You can also read through this later. But I hope you can watch this video until the end to learn how to do it with me. And I'll walk you step by step on how to edit the game and add your own questions and also how to edit your questions for this game. And if you want to support the uh, support this channel, you can click here on the support project and you can support um, my PowerPoint games through there as well. So let's take a look at how to play here. All right. First, click on the question button. After the students give an answer, click on the question holder to reveal the answer. Once the student answer, click on the answer holder to remove the answer from the screen. If the student answer is correct, they can choose a number which is below the slide. If their answer is wrong, just skip their turn. And once a number is chosen, Santa will throw a snowball. A direct hit will reduce the Grinch's life. If you miss, the Grinch will launch a bomb at you. In this case, click on Santa's health to reduce your life. When the Grinch's health is gone, you win. However, if you run out of life, the Grinch wins and Christmas is over. All right. So that's uh, one way how you can play this game, but you can use this however way you want. So let's click on the start game button here. You can click on the start game button or the Grinch here to start the game. And those, this will bring you to the loading screen. All right, here is the main uh, game slide. The Grinch is up to some naughty things. Here. So we have to stop him before he ruins Christmas for everyone. On the left of the slide, we have the Grinch's HP bar. So you have to hit him six times to win. And on the right, we have Santa's HP bar and also uh, you have six life. So here's the question button. So let's click on it. And this will bring out the question and the picture holder here. Uh, you can edit the picture by uh, replacing the image and you can write over the questions here. So this is this is Q1 for question one. So if you click on this, it'll bring out the answer A1. And if you click on it again, it will remove the answer from the screen. And now the students can uh, choose a number below. So they miss. 
so the Grinch will attack them. And just click on Santa here manually. You have to do it manually. You have to click on it six times though. So here we go. Let's try it again. Let's click on the question button here on the left. And that will bring out uh, Q2 with the picture holder here. And you can replace the picture right over the question. And if you click on uh, the question here, it'll bring out answer two. Click on that to remove. And now they can choose a button down here. A number, sorry. That is a direct hit. So the Grinch's life will reduce automatically. So you don't have to do anything here. You just have to click on Santa manually. So you have to control it manually. All right, let's click on question again. And we have Q3 here. And let's click on this. And it'll bring out A3 answer. And now they can choose a number. Oh, a direct hit. And so the Grinch's life will reduce automatically. Again, click on the question. And if the students can answer correctly, um, they can choose a number below the slide here. Let's choose number two here. It's a miss. Bombs away. Ooh. All right, so let's click on Santa here manually to reduce your life. All right, Q5. Click on the uh, Q uh, question holder here to bring out the answer. And click on five again. Oops, it's a miss. Oh no! Let's click on Santa here manually to re, uh, reduce the life. All right, so let's try uh, a few more here for you. If you find that it's too difficult for the students to guess the correct number to throw snowballs at uh, the Grinch, you can have them pick two numbers instead of just one number or three numbers. They can try three times or two times. It's really up to you, uh, but it's quite difficult. So uh, give them a few uh, chances to try to uh, hit the Grinch. All right, let's click on two here. Can we do it? No. All right, two more hits. I think we can do it. Let's try uh, one, or maybe four. Let's try four. Yes. All right, one more. We need one more to get the good ending. So there's two, uh, two stories, good ending and bad ending. And we got the good ending because we defeated the Grinch. So let's click on the Grinch here to reveal the good ending. All right, we defeated the Grinch and saved Christmas. Everybody's happy. So let's click on Max here to take us back to the loading screen. And this will just take a few seconds. So uh, just wait a few seconds here. All right, now that we're back on the main slide here, let's take a look at the bad ending. So if the students guessed wrong too many times, uh, you can click on Santa to reduce uh, their health. Um, you have to click on Santa six times though for the game to be over. So let's say you gave them like two chances for each question, but they still can't get it right. Click on Santa here and reduce his life. Let's try this one. Oh no! Let's just click on four this time and Santa here and let's try this one all right one more let's try one more let's try four this time Oh no! And click on 
Santa? You lost! So we were unable to save Christmas. So just click on Santa here to take us to the bad ending. If the student is unable to defeat the Grinch, just click on Max here and they can try again. And this time, uh, maybe they can uh, take down the Grinch to save Christmas. All right, we're back at the, um, the main slide here. So let's take a look at the game and see how we can edit this game for our lesson. So here on slide number three, we have a picture Q and A, um, but there's an easier way to do it. On slide seven here, we have the picture and the Q A as well. So let's delete this by opening the um, selection pane here, and we want to delete all the question slides, as question holder, answer holder, and picture. So select here, and we'll go all the way down to P forty for picture forty, and we're going we're going to delete this. Uh, this is an easier way to do it. Let's go to extra stuff here on slide seven. And now we are going to um, edit this. So let's scroll up here and hide everything. So make sure you hide all and just reveal only the question and answer you want to edit and picture. So we have Q1, A1, and P1. So let's edit Q1 here, question one. Let's put in our own question. You can put anything you want, it's really up to you, whatever you are teaching for your class, grammar or vocabulary, just put it in there. Now hide question, and let's put the answer in here. You can also delete A1 and Q1 from the, uh, the question holder and answer holder. But I like to keep it in there so I can keep track of um, the questions and answers. So let's click on picture here, go to change picture and choose from a file. And let's find a picture to put in. Uh, what's that? Let's see. Um, let's put this one here. What did you do yesterday? I took a bath yesterday. And now we just hide this. And let's open Q2, A2, and P2. So these are pairs, question, uh, question two, answer two, and picture two. So let's change the question here. Um, let's see. What uh, will you do tomorrow? And let's hide that. But for that, let's uh, add a picture here. Uh, let's see. Let's choose a picture. Mm, okay. How about... Um, let's choose... Okay. Let's choose this one right here. And let's hide the question. And let's put the answer in here. See, I will eat a banana tomorrow. All right, sounds good to me. All right, so let's uh, make sure everything's okay here. And now what you want to do is once you edit all the question, answer, and picture, just go to show all. All right, once you uh, show all here, just copy everything. Question button. QA holder and picture and just choose copy and then you can paste this onto slide number three. All right, so let's say we want to add extra question. So just scroll all the way to the bottom and you see it says Q40, A40 and P40. So you want to copy the last uh, three things here. Copy. So just reveal uh, these three things, go to copy and paste it. And this will become question 41 and answer 41. So you'll see it up here. And so let's change it to uh, picture 41, answer 41 and question 41. So this is the new question and answer and picture. And we want to also change this as well. 
So a uh, Q41, A41. And now you want to go to, um, you want to grab all, uh, all three of these and drag it all the way to the bottom. So now we have uh, it in order, Q41, A41, and P41. Now we want open animation here. So click on animation. Then you want to click on animation pane. So open this a little bit and you'll see the new QA that you created. Just drag this to the bottom here. Oops. So you want to drag it um, under here, trigger, question button, question. So you want to drag uh, the new uh, animation here to the bottom here. And just place it there and you don't have to do anything else. That's all you have to do. So now you create a new uh, uh, question, answer, and picture holder. Now we just click show all. And then now we're ready to copy this onto slide three. So this is the easiest way that you can do it. Uh, I recommend that you do it on slide number seven here, extra stuff. Do all your editing and then just copy and paste it onto slide three. So let's click on slide three here and then um, paste it in. And there you have it. We have uh, the question button, QA, holder, and picture holder. So let's test it out and see what that looks like. All right, here's the main game. So let's click on the question to see what it looks like. All right. What did you do yesterday? And we have our picture here for question number one. So let's click here to reveal the answer. I took a bath yesterday. Okay, let's try it again. Let's click on the question here. What will you do tomorrow? Let's click on the question. I will eat a banana tomorrow. All right. And now the suit could choose a number to launch a snowball at the Grinch. And so on. So you can click on the question here. And again, you can edit the picture by changing the picture. And you can write over the question answer. And, uh, add your own question and grammar. All right, awesome. So let's uh, take a look at uh, slide number three here. If you want to reduce or lower the volume or increase the volume, just zoom out of the slide here. So exit out of your game and just zoom out. And you'll see a uh, small pink boom box on the upper uh, part of the slide here. Just click on that and you can adjust the volume uh, to make it louder or lower just by um, moving this lever here. Thank you for checking out my Christmas Grinch versus Santa PowerPoint game today. If you have any ideas or suggestions for a new PowerPoint game, please feel free to write it in the comments section below and I'll definitely take a look at it. Who knows? Maybe your game ideas will make it to the next video. If you want to help support this channel, you can also click on the support project here and click on the coffee to see how you can do it. I hope you guys enjoy this little PowerPoint game today. Again, you can grab this free uh, PowerPoint game in the description below this video. If you want to help support this channel even further, don't forget to like, share, and comment.
Also, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you, to my viewers, subscribers, and supporters. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. And if you're new to this channel and would like to get more PowerPoint games like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. To all my viewer, subscribers, and contributors, I want to wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you at the next video. As always, thank you, and I wish you the best of luck in your classes.